this is a review of my 2015 WRX. I've had this car for just over a month now and I've put 2,400 miles on it. Uh, this is my daily driver. I do about 400 miles a week and I also was able to do two road trips with it. So got pretty good initial impression of the car and what I like and don't like about it. So let's start off with some of the things that I don't like about the car. Um, one small thing is Bluetooth. I haven't had pairing issues like everyone else, or at least some of the people on the forums, but I find that anything above 65 miles an hour and the microphone picks up all the road noise in the car. And I know this car doesn't have a lot of sound deadening, right? So it's just a small pet peeve. You know, if you're going to be on the phone, you can't be hauling ass on the highway at 70. No one's going to be able to hear you. Um, another small pet peeve is the shifter. The transmission's great, um, but it's notchy. It's smooth, but it's notchy. I guess uh, what I'm trying to say is it's easy to get into gear, but there's a lot of notchy feeling in it. And uh, you know, I've gone ahead and upgraded the shift knob to a heavier, heavier unit so that it kind of kind of smooths it out even more and gets rid of that notchiness, um, so I'm enjoying that. I don't like how the windscreen rakes out, and the only reason is because it's tough to reach my phone. And I shouldn't be playing with my phone anyway, but sort of annoying. I have to lean forward to touch it. Um, but besides, I mean, that aside, the windscreen raking out is nice, so you get better visibility, so not going to complain about that. I don't like the seats. I think that the seats, I'm not sure if it's the material used or what if it's, it was designed for a larger person, but I do slide in the seats. Uh, to give you a frame of reference, I'm about six feet tall, 170 pounds. And I mean, the seats look sporty, right? It looks like it has some good side bolstering, some shoulder bolstering, um, thigh bolstering, but I still see my slide in it, so I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, there's some type of like compromise between your average seat and a bucket seat. Um, and I guess the last thing I would complain about this car is its sensation of speed. And I know that sounds really weird, but when you're going fast, the car doesn't feel like it's going fast. Uh, which is annoying because I, uh, you know, you buy a sports car and you want to have fun and you want to have that sensation that you're going really fast and enjoying the car. I don't know why that is. I think that maybe the gas pedal and the clutch are kind of dull and they don't really give you very much feedback and maybe that's a taking away from the sensation of speed. Um, or maybe it's the power delivery. Uh, sometimes you'll get on it and the car will just take off and other times it won't but you look at the speedo and you're still, still going pretty dang fast so not sure what that is um, but that's that's kind of annoying but otherwise you know that those are my only complaints about the car um, some of the things I really do like about the car I think the interior is great you know for the price point I have no qualms about it care less about the back seats or the passenger seat because really at the end of the day I bought the car I'm going to drive the car and all that matters is the seat um, I think the stereo is better than the previous generations I'm not an on audiophile at all uh, but I think that it sounds really good and it's got all the co connectivity that you could ask for so great head unit great stereos not going to complain about that I think the steering wheel is awesome have raved and raved about the steering wheel and uh, you know I'm gonna second that I think the feel is great if you never told me it was electric I would have no no idea I could care less for the D bottom or the D shaped steering wheel whatever I mean big whoop um, most importantly is the feel that I get from the steering wheel and it's there um, I think the most impressive part about this car is the chassis and the suspension and I think that's what you're really paying for um, in terms of suspension I would say that it's stiff when you want it to be and supple when you want it to be right so over small bumps you get a lot of feedback 
know, on a smooth road or a smooth track, I'm sure you'll get the feedback of the suspension that you want to feel. But over, over kind of like bigger rolling bumps, or it just it, it's it's able to soak it up. Um, so it's it's nice. I think I'm most impressed by its ability to transition going into corners and coming out of corners. Um, it's really smooth the way the weight transfers from side to side and front to back, you know, which was the first thing I noticed when I drove the car. I don't know, I, I like to wager that the car is well corner balanced, stock, right? So I'd love to see someone out there take a stock car and throw it on corner scales and just see what, what weights pop up and whether or not the cross cross balancing is pretty close to 50 50 because it feels like it is and if it is i i really think subaru for that because that's something you it's it's was thought about when when it was engineered um i guess that's about it i mean it's my daily driver i love the car there's some things i want to fix fix about it um but otherwise, you know, don't regret buying the car.